Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to All Things Education in South Carolina. Before we begin this month's message, I would like to take a moment to pay tribute to an outstanding leader, educator, coach, and friend of mine who passed away recently. Benny Bennett was the superintendent of Newberry County Schools and we ask that you keep his family and the Newberry community in your thoughts and prayers during this difficult time. South Carolina has nearly 25,000 farms and agricultural related business is worth $3 billion annually, making it a vital part of our state's economy. Many of our high schools offer students the opportunity to get involved in agribusiness through career and technology programs and apprenticeships. I had the pleasure of touring the Center for Advanced Agribusiness Research at Pillion High School in Lexington School District 1, and I was so impressed by the coursework and the level of student engagement. These students are learning skills and knowledge that will benefit them in college, career, and citizenship. I also took some time to buy my yearly geraniums there and I encourage you to go buy greenhouses at your uh, community high schools to make purchases. I'm excited to announce that the State Board of Education unanimously approved our proposal to change to a 10-point grading scale. For many years, our students have competed at a disadvantage against their peers in neighboring states for college admission, athletic, academic scholarships, and national awards. The 10-point grading scale change will put our students on a level playing field and will also ease the transition process for many of our military families. It's important to remember that this change still maintains the high rigor and expectation demanded by our South Carolina college and career ready standards. I hope you'll mark your calendar for an important statewide faculty meeting on Monday, May 2nd at 3.30 p.m where we will be answering any questions you may have about this grading scale change. I recently joined Lieutenant Governor Henry McMaster in declaring May as Teacher Appreciation Month on behalf of Governor Haley. I'm really thankful for all the work our teachers do every day in and outside the classroom to ensure our students are prepared for success. One very special teacher was recently crowned South Carolina's 2017 Teacher of the Year. A big congratulations to Jennifer Wise of Hand Middle School in Richland District 1 on winning this prestigious honor. Jennifer is a graduate of Gaffney High School and will now represent and advocate for the teaching profession over the next year and compete for the National Teacher of the Year. Thanks again for tuning in and I hope all of you can finish the school year off very strongly and get ready for a well-deserved and productive summer.